Class B airspace surrounds the largest and busiest airports such as Los Angeles International, Chicago O'Hare International, and Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International. The airspace is depicted on the chart with solid blue lines and is often depicted as an upside-down wedding cake such as the rings that surround St. Louis Lambert International Airport. However, the shapes can often vary from that as we can see by looking at the blue lines that surround Los Angeles International Airport. No matter what the shape, you can interpret the vertical beginning and end of Class B by looking at the bottom and top number for each section of the airspace. For Los Angeles, we have from the surface two 10,000 feet MSL, 5,000 to 10,000 MSL, and 2,000 to 10,000 MSL as a few examples. If you fly outside, above or below Class B airspace, you do not need to maintain communications. However, if you fly below the shelf of Class B, you will need to limit your speed to 200 knots or less. Not a concern for our Cessna. A mode C transponder is required when flying over Class B airspace. If you are not planning to enter Class B airspace, try to stay one mile from the boundaries, 1,000 feet below the floors, and 2,000 feet or more above the top. The above the top would be a big challenge for this Cessna, so probably best to avoid flying over the airspace. There is a 30 nautical mile radius Mode C veil that often surrounds Class B and requires the use of a Mode C transponder, which is also required within Class B airspace. This starts at the surface and extends to 10,000 feet MSL. Above 10,000 requires Mode C, no matter where you are. There are some exceptions to this, but if your airplane has it, use it. Although other airspaces require you to maintain communications within the airspace, Class B goes a step further by requiring that you receive clearance before you enter the airspace. So don't think about entering until you hear, cleared into Class Bravo airspace. You must also have at least a private pilot's license or a student or recreational pilot seeking the private pilot's license having the appropriate logbook endorsement. A Mode C transponder is required as well as we have mentioned. Weather minimums are 3 miles visibility and clear of clouds, which is less restrictive than other airspaces because of the tighter control ATC has over the airspace. The cloud ceiling must be at least 1,000 feet AGL. Because Class B is such busy airspace, special VFR is often prohibited in this airspace and is indicated on the chart if that is the case. Speaking of charts, the terminal area chart is the best chart to reference when flying in or near Class B airspace. If you are using Sky Vector for flight simming, you can see these charts from the world VFR view by zooming in on an airport with Class B airspace and then looking for the airport name TAC button at the top. Just click on it to see the chart. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.